Hey everyone, Zach here. Just shooting this video to check in. I haven't made a video for a while because I haven't been especially inspired to do so. I've also been very busy working. I've started building my website or revamping my website, shall I say, <laughs> to get it into a much better place. I have my first ever coaching client this Thursday coming, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> this is new for me and it's new territory. And I'm looking forward to stepping into this part of myself more. I've also been made an apprentice of Brad Johnson, which is uh, someone who I've been learning from for the past five years. And I've learned a lot. His teachings have helped me in many ways and being an apprentice, I'm his first ever apprentice and it's like, wow, <laughs> it's quite an honor. And I'm very happy to be in that position because it's good to have a mentor. It's good to have someone to guide you in those times when you feel like you need the guidance. But at this point on my path now, I'm coming to this aspect within myself where I just don't feel I need so much external guidance. I'm becoming much more reliant upon myself, my own inner guidance. So yeah, I've just been so busy getting ready to go traveling. Really focused on that, as well as my work as well. And I'm almost ready to go traveling. I'm still deciding where to go. One thing that I have been coming to terms with more and more is a way of being and a way of living that I'd heard about many times before. And I felt, it felt like a good way to go in a lot of regards. And that is walking the Christed path. Now, when I talk about Jesus, when I use the word God, which is very, it's new to me, saying that word, saying those words as such, in the way I'm about to talk about them. It's not coming from any kind of religious orientation. Growing up, my grandparents and certain relatives were Christian, whereas in my family, we were never baptized. And I was essentially, I essentially grew up as a self-proclaimed atheist. Just believing that the material was all there was. It wasn't until in my late teens and early twenties when I really started looking into things like astrology more, something that got planted as a seed when I was very young. My parents were into astrology when I was growing up a little bit. And that certainly started opening up my imagination of what's possible. <laughs> I then came further on down the road and found books like Delors Cannon's range, an incredible range of past life regression, hypnotherapy accounts that Delors had collected over her multi-decade career, spanning over thousands of hypnotherapy sessions. And that cracked a part of my shell, the mental box that I was in, and that many of us go through at some point or another in our path. I then started looking into more things like channeled material, such as from Brad Johnson and Bashar and later on Abraham Hicks and 
people like Daniel Scranton and Cryon, various different channelers. And of course, I came to the point in realizing or becoming more and more aware of the idea that Jesus, as mentioned in the Christian Bible, what if he was actually a real person who walked the earth at one point? What if it was that the Bible had been so heavily distorted over the millennia that even some of his original words and teachings that are in the Bible were distorted themselves? And so through all of this religious distortion, it always kind of kept me questioning, hmm, is this right for me? And it's now only until recently, as I am now this apprentice and learning more about realizing yourself as God. The Bible will teach you that God is an external force outside of yourself, that you are weak and powerless and that there's this angry God who wants to throw lightning bolts at you. But as I've started to learn more and more about this, walking on the God path in that way, realizing yourself as God and ultimately walking a path to become a Christed being, a Christed human in that way, just like Jesus did. And I know it sounds, for many, many people will see this and be like, oh, he's talking about religion, but I'm not. This goes beyond religion. Jesus did not affiliate himself with Christianity. <laughs> that was not his, that was not his thing. All he had was his connection to all that is, to the Creator, to the Mother and the Father. Oh, sheep. Lots of sheep. <laughs> now, I felt very flustered by this whole thing of like, oh wow, now I'm an apprentice. Like, this is huge. And I'm beginning to walk this God path in this way, realizing myself as God. And it's really it's shaken me up. It's like my, my ego is shaken up. For me to really walk this path, my, my ego needs to be completely shattered and, you know, broken down to its core to release all of these belief systems that I have, that I've grown up with. <clears throat> and many others have grown up with having similar belief systems. And it's like, it's a big deal. But I feel excited about this. I am. It's like, surrendering myself to God and God's will, to the mother and the father's will, to the creator's will. Surrendering myself, surrendering my earthly desires, my material wants in that way, to, a, to an extent, and being of service, being a tool for the most high. And to do this, I'm finding the most high within me because that's where it is. The Bible will teach you, I've never read the Bible, but I know that the Bible will teach you that God is a force outside of yourself. Whereas just like many of those dogmatic teachings, they've been flipped on their head like the inverted pentagram. And the truth is that God is within you, is within me, is within everyone. And so this is the path I'm beginning to walk and it's huge. <laughs> it's an ego shattering journey that I'm about to embark on to bring so much love energy within to myself through doing my inner work and consciously bringing love energy into myself each day, coming to this realized state where I radiate love, I radiate joy and harmony. And even that vibration alone helps people. 
but also just serving people by doing this coaching work, by making videos like this that can offer a different perspective, can show things in a different light for people. It helps. This is all I really have to share right now. I've been very flustered these past few weeks, but thank you for watching and I hope you're having a lovely day and may all of the love within creation find its way into your being. Lots of love to you all. Bye.